My name's Frederick Schmidt and I'm Dave. We started looking for a, a main actor. He's a lead character, he's in every single scene, um, bar one. And we, we did auditions and we, you know, there's lots of young lads who sort of fitted the bill, but none of them felt right. I was at the casting that day and we had a, we had a off street casting where the casting people went onto the street and... A couple of our assistants scouted hopefuls, I guess, who we could actually audition and... We see about 18 or 20 of these guys off the street because we really wanted to keep this part real. And we also felt we wanted to, you know, give someone a chance if they was good enough. And didn't think we were at all going to find anybody this route, but then suddenly we realised we had one person who was quite interesting. So we pursued, we pursued Fred, um, we put him through a few more tests. Maybe it was something that was a little bit too close to home for me. I didn't see him as, as um, Dave. The first time I met Martin was um, at the audition process, actually. Um, I had to look into his eyes and, and, and put it on him, basically. Um, and as that's slowly evolved, he's put it on me many a times, and, and he's, he's quite a character. Yo, yo, yo! Us! You are me. I'm not, you know, that's fucking racing. I'm, you know, I'm trying to decide what to do in that. Yeah. Yeah, fucking. Really, myself, Christine, and Martin, we decided to push on with Fred to get him an acting coach and to um, see where he went with it. And he just blossomed, basically. And then, you know, we went on a massive long journey, training. Well, doing the training process of taking files from me into him and then doing the acting coaching with it was quite extensive by the end of it he was just he was like a runaway train I don't think it that fault both Fred and Martin did a lot of boxing training a lot of acting together and which is why both Dave and Uncle Jimmy are just so natural on screen together because they've rehearsed and trained and rehearsed and trained and gone through the whole process. In terms of the responsibility of the role, it's something that I've held very close to my heart actually. It's been very important to me to a, do it justice but also to, to make sure and check with Martin that he's, he's okay with how things are going and he's been great. I mean the character Dave has developed not only from Martin's initial interpretation but as an amalgamation of myself, Dave as an entity. So he's a funny, he's a complex guy, <laughs> Dave shall we say. Martin's had a big, big, big role to play in that. Even to the point where we were, we were mimicking the way we were behaving, and this, this really, you know, it really helped create who, who just his persona and how he, how he evolves in his space and how he moves around. You're five o. Who what? Five o, yeah. I'm Jimmy's fucking nephew, Dave. I'm family. Family. Yeah. Who's his fucking family? He's with me. He's proper. All right. What's the matter? Hmm? This is a fucking liberty, so. Hang on. So the whole process up until this point has really helped me um, find Dave and, 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 like I said, really bring him to. To, to life somehow. It was very important, the, the, the boxing part of it, from a physical point of view, but then the, the, the real violent world that Dave inhabits. But every person has a, has a downtime as well. And, and that, that 
part really is what, what, what made him as a full character for me, I'll be honest. So. How he sleeps, how he walks, how he farts, how he does what he does. He, he's obviously quite a chaotic guy in his, in, his, in his time, but these are all things that were really built out of, out, out of the time with the art department. prop in the set in mm. that you've got this space the most important they're part. the most important visual element other than the scenery that's got you've got to check that that really works it's also of huge value to them to have a, a sense of where they would move Dave's room was a functional room he wasn't going to have interior designed it he had to go and get his clothes look in the mirror get his aftershave it's um, his reactions to mm. certain things and little small props and wanting his boxing gloves on the wall yeah. all these things came together to, to to create the environment that we have here really i have my own experience with how i feel dave should be and you know my, from my past and these all fed into how what what created this this world of dave and uh, all these crazy little habits. <laughs> that he's giving. Quite amazing at times, actually. Because um, I've seen him, obviously, from somebody who was nervous, who walked into an audition, and um, to somebody now who can walk onto a set and literally be in character immediately.